Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial in YQR for AutoCAD. I am architect Sonurai from Glad Studio and in this video tutorial, I am going to discuss with you index symbol in YQR. So I am going to YQR and I am going to select YQR symbols here and like in other topics, you can see index of indexers and if you select this, you can see the below commands uh, in figurative form here. So I am going to start with of index symbols and section symbols so i'm going to select this section symbol one and it is asking a start point so this is my start point and now it is asking second point so this is the second point and the third point so this is my third point and fourth point is here so you can see this is our detail uh, one of section line so likewise you can draw this and you can see here and next is section symbol 2 so you can draw like in this uh, section symbol 2 so start point second point and third point you can give anywhere and you can give the fourth point also and you can draw this section symbol so I will draw once here first point second point third point and fourth point and this is the our section symbol 2 and I am going to architectural symbols uh, index symbols and we'll see the section symbol 3 also and if you'll we'll select this first point second point and fourth point and you can draw this section symbol so I'm going to again index symbols and this is the elevation indexers 4 in 1 so we can draw 4 elevation indexer so suppose if you want to make any in uh, interior elevation and you want to draw elevation markers so we can simply click using yqr k b c d and you can draw four sides elevations and you can again go to index symbols and you can use elevation indexer 2 so likewise you can use elevation indexer 1 2 3 4 so i'm going to select one and you can draw this elevations markers and you can uh, hit a space keyboard, a keyboard, keyboard on your uh, laptop or computer and you can do uh, this elevation markers again and it is asking is insert point or settings so you can select settings so you can uh, draw any in, in input serial number a b c d one two three so, so i'm going to enter one here and now i'm going to select this and you can see this is one elevation marker so Likewise, you can use elevation markers. So I'm going to index symbols, and this is one is detailed drawing symbol one. So you can uh, insert any point here, and you can draw detailed drawing symbols anywhere. And now, this is the user indexer one. So detailed drawing symbol two is almost similar. The user indexer one. So if you select this user indexer one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm going to discuss only one user indexer one. And now it is asking first point or arrow and symbol style. So and polar angle. So you can use these settings here. See symbols and arrow style. So you can select this one. Click OK. And now I'm going to select this first point. And now this is my second point and this is my third point and you can see this detail here so he, this is this one is user indexer so likewise you can use all other symbols this is arrow leader so you can draw arrow leader so this is my start point this is my second point and this is one is my next point and you can likewise you can draw this arrow symbols here so you can hit enter click OK and you can write any comment here and you can use this arrow letter so next is multi point leader so if you want to draw multi point leader you can use this multi point leader now it is asking pick up mark point and also you can do some settings here so I am going to use this dot here arrow 0 and now I am going to mark my uh, any point here so if suppose I am going to mark my point here and now it is asking mark point so you can see this cross sign here 
this is my mark point and now I'm going to mark second, third and fourth and I'm going to enter and you can draw this multi point letter you can see this here if this one is dot form and you can draw multi point letter you can draw any mark point and you can start draw, drawing multi letter here so I am going to show you once and again I am going to hit space uh, bar on my uh, keyboard and uh, now I am going to mark again first point second point and I am going to mark only three point and I am going to enter and now it is asking letter angle control point so I am going to uh, mark this as my letter angle and you can see can draw this multi letter point here so likewise you can use this index symbols and next is vertical ampliator so you can uh, draw vertical ampliator multi point letter so I am going to mark a point again similar to this and I am going to click select select this one three point and this one will be in a vertical form so you can draw uh, vertical form multi letter points here you can see one two three four and you can write any comment here so this is very handy and next is add or remove vertex vertex so if you want to add or remove any vertex you can use this and this one is for adding uh, leader arrow so suppose if you have drawn any ar arrows here and if you want to add any arrow in between so you can use this so suppose this is our arrow and I want to add any leader point here so I'm going to index symbol here and I'm going to add leader arrow I'm going to select this and now it is asking select a leader so I'm going to select this leader and you can add any leader line here so likewise you can use this and you can use this to save your time so this is index of symbols and you can use a uh, decorative drawing title so you can use this also to draw your drawing title here so it is asking to select a drawing title so uh, you can draw select any drawing title here and you can enter and you can use any uh, topic here like a plan title elevation title so you can use this and you can uh, select this is in some different uh, language in Chinese and uh, English also so you can use this to click OK and now it is asking insert point so I'm going to insert this point and you can write this uh, symbols here drawing symbols and you can later on edit this using your uh, drawing so this is the decorative drawing title so likewise if you feel anything you want to use in your drawing you can use all of these symbols so this was the tutorial for the today's session in the next session i will come with some more topics in yqr so thanks for watching bye bye